Well now, what do we have here? As I've said previously over and over, I have absolutely no use anymore for the constant retreads Hollywood and the entertainment industry as a whole have decided is the only product they're interested in crapping out in front of us at this point. So imagine my surprise when I stumbled across the trailer for Sisu, a movie set in Finland in 1944 with the backdrop of World War II, which seemingly is just what this doctor ordered. I'll go ahead and admit my total ignorance of Finnish film, the director, and the actors here. My take is based solely on the trailer presented. Plot seems simple enough, which is actually a great thing sometimes. An ex-Finnish commander loses his home and family in the war. While out prospecting, he unearths what looks to be a large chunk of gold. Unfortunately, it's the last days of World War II and he's nearly 600 miles away from the nearest functioning bank and has to make his way across northern Finland as Nazi troops violently retreat. He, of course, crosses paths with a Nazi troop who attempt to steal his gold, only to find that mess with the wrong prospector. The Lionsgate press release, which, as they proudly remind us, is the studio that brought us John Wick, states, quote, while there is no direct translation for the Finnish word Sisu, this legendary ex-commando will embody what Sisu means, a white-knuckled form of courage and unimaginable determination in the face of overwhelming odds. And no matter what the Nazis throw at him, the one-man death squad will go to outrageous lengths to get his gold back, even if it means killing every last Nazi in his path. Fuck yeah. This is precisely what I've been asking for. A movie that looks to be based on a new idea? Check. A movie that's cast as if they actually know what the area looked like and who lived there in the time period in which the movie takes place without the diversity casting which is impossible to escape now? Check. A man oozing toxic masculinity all over as he kills Nazis in a way that would make Tarantino blush? Fucking check. The movie was released in Finland last year, but is getting an international release on April 28, 2023, from what I can tell. So I'm already marking my calendar. Like I said before, I'm not familiar with the actors or director, so I'll be going in blind for this one. What I can tell you is that based on the trailer alone, it's absolutely beautiful in a way which is reminiscent of The Northman from the summer of 2022, directed by Robert Eggers and starring Alexander Skarsgård and Anya Taylor-Joy. It's become such a slog to continually watch movies where most of it was created on a desktop computer, so it's a nice change of pace to see a movie shot on location with what looks to be mostly practical effects and equipment. It's powerful to see that over-the-top violence in that setting. Yup, I want to see more. I have no idea if it'll turn out to be great or even good, but this looks to be the kind of movie that you ought to support if you're tired of Hollywood vomiting out the same old shit year after year. Or don't. I'm not the boss of you. <laughs>